Hi! Hello! Welcome! I am hijacking my sister's soap room. I'm at her house. It's my sister! Hello! This is Kendra. She is from Soapy Friends. She teaches people how to make all natural soap, how to color with all natural ingredients, nothing bad. And it is at Soapy Friends. Soapy Friends. Yes, you can follow my channel at my Soapy Friends on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. The website is soapyfriends.com. If you would like to add natural soap making to your repertoire of crazy awesome crafting fun. So I'm at her house and I told her last night if I'm coming over, I really want to paint for my other pot. So I said, hey, can we do it at your house? Um, yes, because I've been asking her to teach me to do this for like forever. My idea to paint the garden yeah, part. Idea. Thank you very much. And she wanted to do her own pot and I said, Kind of waited on that, so I'm guess whose of, pots aren't painted. I'm a bad sister. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I got this clay pot. I actually got two clay pots at Home Depot this last week. I made a video where I painted one of them, so this is the second one. The other one dried, and it did dry dark, like I was expecting, and it did stay cool and cold on the inside for a good couple of days. So that told me that this is very porous, which we all know is clay. And you do have to give it time to rest and do its thing. So after this one is thoroughly dry, I will take the sealer to both of them at the same time and we'll record that too. And then the colors will pop. They're going to be beautiful additions to the garden. So to get started, here's our clay pot. And you see how there's a hole <laughs> in the middle. We need to take frog tape, and or any tape actually. Um, Better if it's more of a plastic base tape, but I have frog tape because that's what I have on hand. And I am covering the hole. I oh, started to keep the paint from dripping inside. Correct. Gotcha. So my last pot, when I did it, I only did the two layers like that. And the paint got heavy here and it kind of pushed down. And this tape, I haven't looked it up, but I'm kind of wondering if it's like a paper based tape. So I'm just going to do a little more just to help prevent it because when I put it on you can see those are the colors from my last one. Yep. Perfect. And these, if you remember from my last video, I just use these as a holder. So we're going to put it upside down. And then it's the perfect height. Oh, and we can't see the bottom. We have to adjust the... Oh. <laughs> we're on the fly here. <laughs> so we're going to lower the, ca the camera a little bit. There you go. See? Perfect height. It does not touch the surface. And I don't want the pot to dry inside the paint because you're going to get rough edges and then it just gets weird. So I'm going to, you're going to paint with me, right? Yes. Okay. We're, oh, that's a surprise. Uh, I have some gloves. Here are some gloves. You don't necessarily need gloves with acrylic paint. It's non-toxic, but I wear them. It makes for easy cleanup. Oh, and then you, you broke your glove. I broke my glove. Here, you can have this one. I got more gloves over there, too. Okay. I hate it when you break your glove. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I got my gloves on. I have my pre-mixed paint here. Um, I mix it, uh, acrylic paint with Floetrol. And I kind of measure, eyeballed the measurements. It's like two parts Floetrol, one part, part paint. And you just need it until it's a fluid consistency. You have I, a video on that, right? I have videos on that on my YouTube channel. Awesome. And if you want more in-depth help with all that, I do teach classes at paintpoweracademy.com. And I do, have <laughs> I do have a complete beginner's class. And you have access to my uh, Facebook group. It's a private group. We all have fun and um, share our, our art and events. Here is a strainer. It's a strainer, a sink strainer. And we can get them on Amazon. And after the video, I'll link all this in there so you don't have a hard time finding it. And that's correct. We're just going to put it on top. Let me see. <laughs> Ta-da! I need to wait. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> now for this one, I would like to put a thin layer of color on here before we do this 
because it'll help the colors run through. So if we start just putting colored paint on here, then we're using excess paint because it has to build and move. So we're gonna just help it along a little. I'm thinking black, because I have more black. Okay, that's my scientific reasoning. It's what I have more of. There's no, I have no real reason of doing a lot of things with my art, because I like being spontaneous and just seeing what happens. Okay, so this first layer of paint, we're not really going to be seeing this color so much. It's just going to help all the other colors move yep. and have something to move down. Exactly. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can see because where there's no paint, it's slower to get going. But now where what you're pouring is hitting existing paint, it goes faster. Yep. And a good way to think is paint likes to go where paint has been. Okay. So we're just gonna keep, and. Should we help it along at all? Yes, but I think I would like, oh, I do, my paper towels. Okay. I thought I had kept them over there. But yes, let's use our hands, our gloved hands. Okay. And we're gonna help it along. And. Yeah, I'm just rubbing them around. Perfect. Okay. It just needs a thin layer of paint. And this layer of paint is going to start absorbing here. into the pot, which will help our colors stay brighter because now we're just absorbing a thin layer of paint instead of trying to absorb color. Okay. Okay. And I'm just going to get on the inside rim too. Hey, now I got it on me. Oh. Should have done that. Here's <laughs> <laughs> a paper towel. <laughs> okay. Did I really get it on me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did it though. <laughs> it's funny. Today, paint is going to get on me, not because of me, because of her. <laughs> okay. So, you need another paper towel? I'm okay. It doesn't be perfect. Just yeah. I don't, I don't think it can touch you again. Oh, okay. oh, I'm sure you can. Uh, okay. Okay. So now, here is our strainer again. Just set it on top. And we're going to start just taking... I'm going to put the colors closer to you, too. Okay. Whatever color you want in any order. And I'm going to start with this pink. I want the green. This, well, I got two different greens. Ooh. And... Shake. You just here, yeah, shake them up. Because you need to make sure the color's dispersed in the flow trawl. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just, and. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, it's cool on the top. See, I have such a flat surface up top, it's gonna take some paint to get going. There you go. Oh my gosh. See, okay. I'm seeing the black already. Oh my gosh, black was an awesome choice. Okay. <laughs> And then, whoops, now we got to keep in mind, as I'm pushing this in, I'm creating color too. So we could potentially make a lot of brown mud. Oh, should we put white in between colors to kind of- We can try it, yeah. Keep that from happening. Yeah. And then right here, see the color's not, I don't know if you can see it there. You can see the black, which I do think is cool. I'll bring you all closer. We're experimenting with the camera here because I'm not in my painting room. There you go. Okay, okay here's a layer of white. Uh, let's do more of the green. Okay, just do green. Okay, so when I'm um, mixing colors with soap, and this applies to if you're making coffee too. Um, if you pour from up here, the color's going to mix in all the way down if you pour from the nozzle real close to the paint or whatever you're pouring it's going to pour on top so going up will push it but staying close to it we'll just let it sit on top i think that might help our colors not mix so much Ooh, that's really cool um pink you think oh yeah do yeah. this pink though oh okay hold on my hands are all yeah 
because I didn't have it level, it was all coming to this side. So what oh. I was doing right now is trying to level it more. Yeah, we could have leveled the table a bit too. And my table's not level. That's one thing I don't do a lot of is leveling. I just kind of let it do what it does. When you start getting to more professional um, and more exact, then you do want leveling. Should we do more white or? No, oh, pink. Okay, okay. Just, just do it. Let, let's live, live it up. Be crazy. Do the pink. <laughs> hmm. Oh, see, it's going over there. That's yeah. cool. Well, no, that's okay, because yeah. I think this looks... See, over here is white, flooded. Mm -hmm. White tends to take over. No matter what I do, white just tends to get crazy. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. Purple! This pot is going to be, like, so awesome. Oh! <laughs> Totally does look like a cake. Uh oh, that's the green one. That's the pink one. Yeah, and with this flat surface, we're gonna use more paint than we usually will, which is cool. It's fun. Look how awesome. Okay, now I'm gonna get some pink. And what's cool about the strainer is it helps make these lines. And when you do a strainer on a flat surface, you do see these lines and it comes out and you can make almost like blooms and flower mm -hmm. effects. Yeah, I have use a lot of these same techniques for doing colored pores with soap batter. Oh, mm -hmm. that's like so awesome. Oh my goodness, see this I like. I think that's mm -hmm. awesome. Yep. And then over here, let me see. I'm going to take the camera okay. so that we can have a little look at the other side. And I just tipped it a little more too. Oh my goodness, and I always have a hard time finding when to stop. So let's keep going. I think going. it needs more green. <laughs> more green. Oh my goodness. Whoops. I just splattered down it. That's okay. And then green. So let's maybe. Let's do a brighter one. Yeah, let's do a bright. Yeah, because we like lost all of our pink. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You, you ready? Wait, hold on. Okay. It got stuck because of my... Okay, ready? Go. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all that pain! <laughs> We're all crooked now because I moved the camera. Oh, that's okay. Oh! I think this. we did good. This I like might this. be it. Yeah, I like this. Um, can we turn it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Because it looks really cool over there. Okay, ready? Uh-huh. There you go. Oh, and there goes the camera tripod. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we're just having fun today. No rules today. Oh, this is, this is it. Yeah. And look on here. The white is popping out. Oops. Yeah, I see it right in here. Because you, you know what it is? Because we shook the paints up real well, we uh -huh. had air in them. So as the air pops, oh. the water pops, the air. The layer below shows. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Oh, yeah, I do. I see the air bubbles. Look how cool that is. Yeah. Oh, my god. So goodness. they'll drip and pop and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This I looks think... awesome. I think we're good. I think this, let me pull this off. Okay. And this, you can just wash with water. And um, if you leave it, I don't know where I put my other one. If you leave it on here, you'll just be coated with paint, which is okay. Just depends how clean you want to be. Wow. This is really cool. This is like so awesome. Look at Oh, I love that. Absolutely. Alrighty. Well, that's it. We're calling it. Okay. 
So thank you for <laughs> joining us. Me and my sister here. Thank you. And what I'll do is in a little while, I'll make another video because it's always going to change on us. And then when it dries, I'll show you guys the result. So until then, bye. See you soon.